Hey folks, welcome to the channel. In today's build, we're gonna do a sheath for this guy. So that's one of the K-bars, that's the five inch K-bar. And uh, the Marine that I'm doing it for wanted me to do a design, it's like an H etched into the leather sheath. So I figured that would be a great opportunity to show you guys a demo and an unpacking of this X-Tool D1 laser etcher. So we're gonna take a look at this, build this out, and see if we can't etch that into a leather sheath and send this out to the Marine that ordered it. All right, guys, let's get going. So let's talk about this design a little bit. The Marine that ordered this wanted a very specific carry. He wanted, he's left-handed, and he wants this on a back carry horizontally with a snap that he can undo with his left hand. So very specific. So this is what I've come up with. Okay, I've got everything cut out for the sheath. This one's pretty complicated, guys. Um, so here's the way it looks. So this one kind of folds over here. I've cut this out because this will form our welt. Okay, this is gonna be the strap that will get sewn in there and it'll come over like that, something like that. This is the front, so this is where the knife will actually slide in and it's gonna be stitched kind of close here, right there and right there. And then stitched again on the edges for this to go underneath. And that's where the belt loop is going to slide in. So kind of a complicated construction, but um, I think it's gonna work out and uh, it'll be what, um, what the customer wanted. Uh, then later we're gonna go put that H right here. After applying a coat of dye to the sheath, I'm taking a little bit of the leather away just where the knife enters the sheath, just to make it a little easier. Now I'm applying some contact cement and then folding this over and gluing it up. So while that's clamped up and drying, I'm going to stain the front. Um, I did a test piece and I found that um, I can stain the front and then etch it and it actually comes out a lot nicer. So let's do that. And I'm just using um, this Feebing's uh, medium brown here, which actually comes out quite dark. Once you get all the streaks out of it, it's pretty dark. Now I'm starting to unpack and set up the X-Tool D1. I think it ended up taking me about a half an hour to set this up. I made a couple screw ups, so it probably should have taken less. They have an excellent video on their website of assembling the machine. So that's what I was watching on my phone as I was doing it. Probably a good idea to watch this a few times before you actually try to assemble it. After you get the frame put together, there's just a couple wire connectors you need to set up the laser, and then you're pretty much ready to go. So here's the X-Tool D1 all put together. Uh, I had some trials and tribulations a little bit, but only because I didn't really follow the directions at a couple of points, but it's all together now. I've already done the test run. Um, you can see I've marked up a few things on this just piece of wood here, uh, and it runs quite well. I was very happy with it. So let's take a look at the software. I'll show you how, um, how to actually cut something or etch something with this. And uh, then we're gonna do the front of the sheath. Okay, here we are in the software for the uh, X-Tool. It's called LaserBox Basic. 
And there's lots of things you can do here. You can just take the pen and you can just start drawing things. And then the nice part about this is the laser will actually draw the lines uh, instead of an image, but we're not gonna do this. Okay, I'm gonna clear this. What I'm gonna do instead is I'm going to import. So I have this picture here. I'm gonna import that. Okay, so this is really, really big. So I wanna shrink this down, which is really cool. And I can put it anywhere on the surface here and you'll see why. So when it, when it does images like this, what it does, the laser will start on the upper left and it'll just go across in rows and, uh, and etch your image. So I'm going to just test this. I'm gonna show you guys in a second. I'll put this here. I'll turn the machine on. I'll select it and then I'm just going to hit start. Okay, and then I choose where the laser starts. So let's wherever the laser is right now is going to draw this image. So I just want to test this. So I'm going to hit start and I'm going to go down and show you guys what it's doing. And I'm just going to have it do this on the piece of wood that's there first, just to make sure I have the right size. Here I'm showing you this in actual speed so you can see how fast the laser goes in this mode. So there's what it looks like. Um, just to give you a comparison, that's, that's pretty much the size I want. It could go a little smaller. So now we're going to etch it on leather. Let's go back to the program and I'll show you some other little features. Here we are back in the application. I'm going to just make this just a wee bit smaller here. And also um, you'll notice on the, on the right here, it's got material. So I'm actually going to make this leather. I'm going to do two passes. That'll make it a little deeper, which I think looks nice. Uh, and then it's on engraving. So you can actually set this so that it's actually on, sorry, you need to select that. So it'll actually cut leather or cut whatever material you're working on, wood or something like that, if it's thin enough. So um, you have an option uh, whether to, to engrave or to cut. So I've got it set on engrave. So now I'm gonna get my piece of leather. I'm gonna line this up and then, um, we're going to uh, etch that logo on the leather. So I'm ready to laser etch this. One thing important is to make sure that the leather is lying flat. You don't want the laser to accidentally hit the leather and move it, because obviously that would be catastrophic. So it's lying flat. I've got enough clearance. Uh, I'm going to press go, and we will see it start. It kind of sounds like crickets chirping. The laser also runs a lot faster in leather mode. Okay, I wasn't happy with the first one. Uh, I accidentally put it way up here at the top uh, and it didn't go very deep. So I just did a second one. This one came out really nice. I made it a tiny bit bigger and it's a lot deeper. So I think that's gonna look a lot nicer. Next step, we're going to uh, glue it down and then do the stitching and uh, get on to the next step. Since this is the smooth side, I'm just scoring it up a little bit so that the contact cement will have some place to stick to. So I got this all glued up. Uh, I'm going to just sand the edges so they're all nice and smooth and then we'll do our stitching. So <laughs> I've never done one like this where the stitching is actually on the interior here. So I'm trying to figure out how to do this and get that straight. So I think I'm just going to have to mark it. I want the stitching about there and there.
On the front of the sheath, whenever I'm going to do stitching, I always use a grooving tool so the stitches will lie embedded in the groove. So now I put the guide on it and I'm just going to go around the outside. And now I'm just going to use the stitch markers to um, to lay out my stitches and where they're going to go. Now I'm not going trying to go through all of the leather here. I'm just putting a little mark because we're going to drill it. I'm using a 1 16th inch drill bit just to drill these holes. Okay, so I'm going to thread these. I got two, uh, I think these are number six needles. Um, so to thread these, you put it through and then just take this, put it through the thread again, kind of pull it through and then pull it tight. And that way you don't have to knot it or anything like that. Okay, so we're going to be doing a saddle stitch. And what that is, is you put it through and I'm gonna just even these out here. I got quite a bit of thread. Then I'm gonna go through the next hole. And then I'm gonna take this one and go through that same hole. So you're really, you're doing this through the holes, kind of weaving them back and forth. And I'll show you what I'm gonna do in uh, a subsequent hole. So you'll notice I've drilled these and some people will um, use nails or they're using all I, I just don't feel like that's necessary but what I will do is on every three holes or so when I put the thread through I will take this and I'll make sure that it goes through this thread and what that does is it kind of locks the threads. It crosses the threads. And it, yeah, and sometimes you need pliers to pull it through. And now this is cinching it. And when I pull it, it'll stay tight. You can see it's stayed tight there. And then every second stitch, I'll make sure it goes through the thread. Once you get into a rhythm, it actually goes pretty fast. So I've decided to cut the sides out a little bit just to give it a little more contour. And now I'm ready to glue the, ba the back plate on. And uh, those will be contoured as well. And it's going to go something like that and it's going to pull this down which is kind of cool so there'd be a space there if you want to do it vertical or you can put a belt loop through here all right let's glue it up so the sheath is done for the most part um, I've got to just press in the stitches and I'm going to burnish uh, the edges and then we just got to do the, uh, the clip Burnishing with a round piece of wood just smooths out all the edges and makes these sheath look really nice. Thanks for joining me on this build, folks. Uh, I'll show you some glamour shots of the two sheaths uh, that I made. I didn't show you guys this one, but at least you'll see how the, uh, the laser did on this one. Um, and this is the one we built uh, uh, in the video. So um, overall, the X-Tool D1 is an excellent machine. I'm very, very impressed. Uh, I think the price point on that one is about $800, um, but it, it worked flawless. Like it was pretty simple to put together. Uh, the software makes it super easy. I know it works with other um, laser etching software uh, that I don't have, but the one that it comes with is super easy to use. My only complaint is that it's uh, locked in centimeters or metric. It's in metric and it doesn't have an option to switch to uh, Imperial, which eh, I guess is okay, but I would prefer it be an Imperial. 
Other than that, it's a great machine. Uh, I'll put a link down in the description. Go check it out uh, if you need uh, etching. Uh, it's also gonna, you can cut um, leather and other items with it. So I'll definitely be using it in the future for maybe cutting out even patterns because I really hate cutting out the patterns with scissors or with an X-Acto knife. So it'd be really cool to put a piece of leather down and just have the laser cut out the pattern. Uh, so I'll find some other uses for it, I'm sure. Uh, thanks for joining me on this one, folks. Um, stay tuned and I'll give you some close-ups of these sheaths. We'll see you on the next one.